I'm here with John B, the Communications Manager of Nestle. Nestle, in case you hadn't heard of them, is the world's biggest food company. And their achievements this year in the CSR Awards are numerous and impressive. Now, you won the Switzerland ranking. You earned third place in the global ranking. You got the highest score in the section on interactivity. A truly wonderful result. Can Nestle get any better with their CSR communications? Well, yes, we can always get better. Um, I, I think, uh, like anybody in this space, we're learning as we go along. Uh, we have much more that we can do about integration of our online resources. We have much more that we can do in storytelling around our, our video content and being able to get that out there into other channels as, far, as well as our own. Um, and I think that, like everybody, uh, we are learning how to become more responsive to the people who are looking to find out information on, on corporate social responsibility, as we like to call it, creating shared value. I see. Mm -hmm. So how has the internet changed the way Nestle communicates CSR initiatives? Rather a lot, actually, because, uh, you know, uh, even as recently as five years ago, we were pred predominantly paper-based, and we've been making a journey where we've transitioned that over these past five years to bring in uh, more stakeholder engagement, but I guess that needed to start from the kind of physical stakeholder engagement events. But as we, as we went, th went on that journey, we also realised that there's a whole online community out there that uh, is very interested in the space of corporate social responsibility or as we call it, creating shared value. And uh, we recognize an opportunity to create for them uh, dedicated resources where they can dialogue, where they can show their own examples. And that's why we launched something called creatingsharedvalue.org uh, about 18 months ago. Hmm. Now, what are some of the, the challenges that you face in communicating CSR, particularly for 2011? Well, uh, I think that, that those are, um, are many and varied. Uh, obviously, we need, to, we need to keep showing improvements, and that's always the way. Um, we find that the requests for more and more information, we need to balance that with uh, what we're, we're realistically able to, to, to disclose and what we're, we're realistically able to, to, to marshal by way of data. Um, I think the challenge is also always going to be um, making sure that you present the information in an accessible uh, and, and uh, an accessible way which enables people to relate to that information. Some audiences relate to hard facts and figures. Other audiences want to be told a story. Other audiences want to dialogue with you about it. So I think the challenge is always going to be making sure that you meet those needs in the most uh, responsive and, and accessible way. Now, today we've heard some, from some great CSR <coughs> experts. What advice or knowledge will you take away from today's event? Oh, goodness. Um, Humility is one of them. Uh, no, no, I, I don't think we can ever uh, assume we've all, always all got it right. Um, the fact that this is such a new area, the fact that this is uh, an area where um, we are all learning, learning very much, uh, al almost on the go. Um, I think that uh, honesty, openness, and accessibility are the things that, uh, that, that I'm going to take away from this, and I, I hope that others would as well. That's great to hear. Mm. Thanks very much, John. Thank you.